Uh, let me start with the concept that I call the flaw of averages. Why are we, why are we doing all this stuff in the first place? And the famous example is the statistician who drowns in the river that's on average three feet deep. Uh, the way this happened was the boss came in and said, how deep is the river? And their assistant said, it varies. And the boss said, give me a number. And the assistant said, well, if you really need a number, on average, the river is three feet deep. Now, that's not what mathematicians call it. They don't call it the flaw of averages. They call it Jensen's inequality. Um, I didn't call my book Jensen's inequality because I didn't want to trigger what's known as uh, post-traumatic statistics disorder or PTSD. And, and this PTSD, uh, fear of statistics, is something we have to face all the time in this industry. Now, th there's a lot of interesting technology here. I mean, really, uh, for me, breathtaking. And uh, part of this involves uh, some of Tom's inventions, some of my inventions, other people's inventions. But to put it in context, um, and, and inspired, inspired by George Santos, I want to be as bombastic as I possibly can here uh, without bending the truth. Um, to put it into perspective, I want you to imagine a new era that I'm going to call the chance age. I'll bet everyone here has heard of Monte Carlo simulation. And um, it's a mathematical analogy of shaking a ladder before you climb on it to paint the side of your house. You want to make sure the ladder is stable or shaking your business plan or shaking the model of your new drug development with all the uncertainties that can go into that. So let, let me define the simulation age, starting in 1947 with Monte Carlo simulation. In the simulation age, you can estimate chances of things by having a computer program generate random inputs and then keeping track of the outputs and counting the number of times different events occurred. So that's the simulation age. In the chance age, the chances are actually embedded in the data. And I'm going to demonstrate this. So uh, there are a few little definitions here to, here to get started with. Um, so metalogs plus SIP math for chance informed insights. So the first definition is, is a field that I uh, co-founded called probability management. And if you go to Wikipedia, it says probability management says you store uncertainty in data structures that obey both the laws of arithmetic and the laws of probability while preserving statistical coherence. Now, the simplest approach is to use vector arrays of simulated historical realizations and metadata called stochastic information packets or SIPs. And that sounds incredibly dull so let me quick uh, show you an example. We're going to do this with dice right now. So of course, dice actually were very central to the development of the theory of probability. I use them in class all the time to discuss uncertainty. And uh, imagine that you're rolling a die, and the boss says, what number is going to come up? And you say, it's uncertain. The boss says, no, give me a number. What are you going to do? Give them an average die? This is an average die, three and a half dots. That's the average on both sides. This is ridiculous. No one would do this with dice. So let's not do it with our uh, decisions in the face of uncertainty. Now, I'm going to demonstrate a probability management application. So here, 
I have 